Hi, I'm Joel at Home Chef Dad, and today we are making one of my favorite dishes, cacho e pepe. So let's get started. So cacho e pepe is a very simple Roman dish. Basically, it's just a couple of ingredients, cheese and pepper. That's what it means, cacho e pepe. So we've got some dry pasta, pecorino romano, black pepper, and I've got some salt I'm gonna to add to our boiling water because when I boil the pasta, I do like a really nice salty water. So let's take a look at our water. Large pot, boiling water. And I've got about, I don't know, half a cup of salt. I want my water salty. So I'm gonna drop the pasta and we'll get started on the rest of this dish. So as our pasta returns to a boil, remove the lid so it doesn't overflow. I used about eight ounces or 250 grams of dry pasta. I've got about, I'd say about a half cup to a, maybe three quarters cup of Pecorino, Pecorino Romano. Uh, well, the reason why you use Pecorino Romano is because that's a Roman cheese and this is a Roman dish. Also, it's delicious. I mean, I guess you could use Parmesan if you wanted to. Just make sure you have a good quality cheese. I also have fresh cracked black pepper. So we'll let the pasta keep cooking and we should be good to go here in a few minutes. So my pasta has been cooking for about four minutes now. I'm gonna start getting the skillet ready for the pasta when it's finished cooking. So I'm gonna get the heat on and I'm gonna crack some fresh pepper into this to toast it. I don't really measure, but you want a good amount. Really brings out the flavor. Almost releases the oils, the essential oils of the black pepper. So one thing I want to always remember to do, one of the most important parts before I drain my pasta, I want to capture at least a cup of this water. The starch is what brings it all together. It's better to have more than you need because once you drain that pasta, it's gone. I think that should do it. Okay, so I can smell the black pepper. I know it's ready. Uh, my pasta's got about another minute to go before I, before I drain it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the pasta water to the black pepper to keep it from burning. Nice and hot. Okay, so I drained my pasta. I'm going to put it right into my skillet. Move it around a little bit. And I'm gonna add more pasta water. And the cheese. And this dish will come together really quickly. Lower the heat down to about medium low. Let the cheese melt into the pasta water. I like a little more pepper, so I'm gonna add a little more at the end. It looks a little wet, but that's normal. It will, and as it cools down, it's gonna thicken up. Heat's completely off now. This plate, nice and creamy, cheesy, peppery. So let's get it in a bowl and eat it while it's hot. So let's plate. Got a bowl.
finish a little more pepper if you like. Cacho e Pepe in about 10 minutes. Let's give it a try. That smells so good. Mm. Sorry, I'm lost of words. That is so good. If you're looking for a dish to make your friends or a dinner party, something that is going to blow your friends away, blow your family away, something different, this is such an awesome dish. It's so easy. You could pair this with a steak. You could pair it with a pork chop. Just eat it by itself. Fantastic. So hope you make it. If you do make this dish, uh, leave a comment. More videos like this coming out. So please hit that subscribe button and, ha and have a great night. Thank you for watching.